now. It's going to take a couple minutes to actually get it onto the list of streams, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, there's a lot more streams and gamers watching um, on, on there. But, uh, okay, so at this time, go ahead and add 200 experience points um, for showing up on time. Thank you very much for showing up on time and showing up. Um, I'm going to do a quick recap of our last session. Gee, goddamn right I turned up this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so last week uh, we had session 117. Forever Forest is a big place. Uh, that that session found uh, Draz during a rare stint of favorable weather these days. Uh, was alone outside the magical cabin at 1 a.m. October the 6th, 10 a.e. 5. As usual, um, hidden in shadows next to the cabin's illusory boulder-like wall. Soon, Draz found himself observing three tigers, strangely enough, walking towards him. He could not tell whether or not they could see him. Uh, they walked very close to him, coming within ten feet or so. Lo and behold, they were stalking a snake in the grass nearby. They surrounded it and pounced upon it, tearing it to shreds. While devouring it, the tigers began to change shape into semi-human forms. Uh, were tiger like anthropes. Draz watched closely as they ate the garter snake. A delicious snack. The tigers finished quickly and moved forward, or sorry, uh, toward the riverbank and went out of view, following the river toward the north. Later that day, at 10 in the morning, the party was walking through a forever forest along the eastern edge of the Spoo River when they smelled sweet perfume. Most of the party instinctually uh, held their breath uh, to avoid inhaling it any further, but Shirka and Wilworth did not. Shirka and Wilworth began hallucinating that up ahead grew a comely treant, its appearance beckoning them. The rest of the party didn't fall for it, and during a long combat filled with fireball spells and magic missiles, the party realized they were fighting a hangman tree, which had Wilworth hanging by its noose already, uh, ready to swallow him alive. After the tree fell, forming Hangman Bridge, across Spook River. The party harvested some staves and acid from the hangman tree and were off southward again. Uh, traveling went quickly and the party found themselves camping again. Uh, the following morning, <clears throat> another storm started thundering. During Shirka's guard shift around 3 a.m. on the 7th of October, uh, Shirka heard the sound of howling between the intermittent uh, thunderclaps. The howling turned out to be a pack of wargs, hunting uh, during the witching hour. The party quickly dispatched half the pack, which, Azuro, or which attacked Azuro through the front door of the cabin, uh, which Shirka had left wide open when she fled inside. The other half of the pack decided to circle the cabin and found no other entrance and quickly left the scene. The rest of the night went by quickly, as did the next day. The session ended at 9 p.m. October the 7th, 10 a.e. 5, in a part of Forever Forest which has become thickly overgrown with ivy. Okay, so 9 p.m. is the first guard shift. So go ahead and arrange the, the characters, please, into um, uh, like the first guard shift's formation, I guess, and I will remove... Uh, uh, Lucas, because his player is not here right now. So we'll say that he kind of wandered off into the forest alone. Somehow. Communing with nature, yeah. He's dead. Safe. He, he went tree climbing. You don't see him. <laughs> um, so I'll need my token. Yeah. Should be a couple of animals too, I think. Um, yeah, so we've got Scarret, Death From Above, Papagur, Pecker, Pooter, and Adelon. Um, also, um, Adelon, are you okay with the new token? Ah, uh, new token. 
Yeah. Did you say? Yeah. No, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. So I'll... Oh, your token's not on the board, is it? Oh. Nope. Okay. That's there what it I was is. saying. There it is. Oh, it's so cute. Huh. Yes, I do very much like that. Okay. Yeah, I picked it because it does kind of make it look a little younger. Um, since you are a hatchling, I thought that would be maybe a little bit more appropriate. Um, I still do have the other forms on, on your token, though, just in case. So. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, but no, I think that's good. Cool, cool. All right. Um... Let me know. Okay. And Adelon, are you on the roof right now? Well, after the last uh, near-death encounter she had with the spider, she's gonna uh, have a few shifts inside for now. Okay. Um. All right. Okay, so, um, Adelon and, was it Scarret? Okay, uh, you hear, um, a rustling sound on the roof, um, coming from, uh, fairly close to the chimney. Uh, what are the defenses on the chimney? Okay, uh... Did it have, like, an alarm spell or something? Okay, so you hear a magical alarm go off. Okay. And, um, so it's got bars and stuff like that. All right. Yeah. So you definitely hear a magical alarm go off because that's one of the effects of the spell, right? It has alarms on the bars and the, and the doors and the windows and the chimney. Um, yeah, so that would wake everyone up. Boop, boop. And, yeah, there's this rustling sound coming from, um, the chimney. I'm assuming you guys lit a fire. Okay. So, yeah, um, it's definitely pretty hot in there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the alarm sound is coming from the chimney, and also there is uh, rustling in the chimney. And you kind of hear the sound of maybe bricks falling and getting caught on something in the chimney, I guess. Um, and then, whoop, you know, a brick falls into the fire and tsh, 